This is the fifth take because <laughs> Glory stopped three of the five takes. And hopefully this one is the final one. It will be. All right. Well, our intro is one, one for, for the, the Brooks. Brooks. That's right. <laughs> I just farted. Oh, ew. <laughs> I don't think, hey, that was a delayed <laughs> ew. You don't even smell it. Whatever. My fart smell like strawberries. So why don't you explain what we're going to talk about uh, for this first hangout? What if hangout? I don't want to? Just tell me. Okay. Well, <laughs> Glory, I want to start by asking you a different opening question because I want to redo the other one that we just did. Okay. So... What is one thing that you've always wanted for Christmas that you've never gotten? Your this whole is life? cheating. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cheating. I mean, that's not cheating. Yes, it that's is. Not, that doesn't you haven't that. gotten me your Christmas gift, my Christmas gift yet. Man, girl, I am your Christmas <laughs> okay. gift. Okay. All right. Well, you now that you're but, asking. No, but this is like years, years worth of stuff, like from a kid up until like now. Really? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm curious, like, what are some things that you asked Santa Claus that you wanted? And Santa was like, nah, I ain't getting that. Okay. Yeah. I would love to take singing lessons and dancing Yo, lessons. Yo, how, <laughs> how is Santa bringing a singing and dancing lesson? How does that, if that, for Christmas, that's what you want? Well, that's what Christmas. I want. I like experiences more than tangible I'm not, things. I'm not asking you what you want. I'm asking <laughs> you what you wanted. As in, you wanted it, but you never When got... I was a kid? Yes. I wanted a Furby, okay? okay? I never owned one. You never had a Furby? I've never owned a Furby. Yeah, everybody I know, Furby. and I went to all my friends' houses and played with their Furbies. Dang. Yeah. Sad story. <laughs> well, it's not too sad because nobody plays with Furbies anymore. Yeah, well, it was sad when I was young. What do you? What is something that you wanted for Christmas? Something that I wanted? Yes. This is an easy one. Oh, remember when T-Mobile came out with the Sidekick phone? No. <laughs> you don't know what the Sidekick phone is? I forgot you're young. I'm two years younger than you. <laughs> Yo, the Sidekick phone. It was like the dopest thing. Like you press a button and then the screen will flip up like click it and then it had like <laughs> the keyboard but it was a phone with a keyboard on it and it just flipped up so cool and i just i used to think that was the coolest thing well that's why you didn't get it because what who what child asked for a phone for actually that's probably common now but that's an expensive <laughs> gift that, that was not man, gonna get to my mom all the time like yo <laughs> please did you ever get, get it no, oh, the point I could, I, yeah, no, I didn't get it. I actually felt bad because it was like one time, like my mom had to get surgery, and <laughs> it was laughing because I'm like, I, like I was a brat as a kid. <laughs> I was like thinking about it now as an adult, like, oh my gosh, I hope our kids don't be like me. What did you do? Well, so my mom was like getting out of surgery, so this is years ago. I think I had been like eight or nine when the sidekick was coming out. And it was close to Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom, you know, after the, like, what is it called? Um, when they put you to sleep? Anesthetic, yeah, yeah. Anesthesia? Or, I, said, I probably said that wrong. <laughs> Whatever. After she, like, woken up from the medicine and stuff, they had her eyes get big. I'm like, oh, mom, are you good? She's like, yeah. I'm like, man. So about the sidekick. <laughs> I told it was wrong, yo. Oh, I wanted wow. that for her so bad. Did you ever ask her for her forgiveness for saying that? Well, she's watching this right now. She probably don't even remember this, but mom, please forgive me for oh, asking there for, we go. for the sidekick. Why are you fresh out the surge? <laughs> Man, yo, kid Matt was a savage. You're still, I still see your savage sides. You try to hide it, but I can see that inner savage. The, the inner savage might come out with In these, these with, yeah, with this, these series, whatever this is. This might be the only one we do. <laughs> if it's Beyond, bad, we'll never yeah. do it again. If this thing don't break 100,000 views, <laughs> <laughs> we're like, absolutely not. We're not doing this ever again. Uh, so, <clears throat> the topic that I came up for this week and... You know, next week, if you want to come up with a topic. We'll, I do. We'll, all right. We'll alternate. Okay. We'll alternate. But this week, I wanted to talk, I wanted us to talk about if uh, being content creators have changed this uh, with, you know, having over a million subscribers on YouTube and million over a million followers on Facebook and our Instagram, you know, is that like 200,000, even though your personal one has more than me. <laughs> 
have with all of that being said, has being rice from slice and rice mm-hmm. changed you as a person? And I guess I'll try to answer that for myself. You know, that's a really good question. I think that mentally, like, it's so weird because I still, well, I still am, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Still am, still feel like the same glory that I did all my life. But the difference Mm -hmm. is, obviously, that now when we're in public, we get noticed and, like, sometimes you forget. And it's like, you don't feel different. Well, I feel like we would feel different if we got, like, overnight fame or success. But this was very gradual. We've been working towards Slice and Rice for like five years. Yeah, so that snowball like, was slow as I don't know what. <laughs> it was like, dang, would you just get bigger already? <laughs> yeah, so I think because it was such a slow growth, I actually don't feel different. I I, I really don't. You're crazy. What? I feel like it. you, you yeah. don't feel different Okay, so, I, at all. I do, uh-huh. but well, I'll answer that after you tell me if you feel different. Yes, I feel different, but not in, like in a bad way. Like I've, I feel like I've matured more because of... It's caused me to think about the world differently mm. and stuff. And there's been times in the past where we we did like explode on a different platform, mm. like a short period of time. And when that happened, like a couple of years ago, it gave me a big hit because that was like the first time that I felt that before. I was like, "What's up, man? I got fifty thousand <laughs> Followers on this app, you know what I'm saying? You can't tell me Cringe. nothing. And my friend, my best friend, went on the app because I told him to get on the app, and we was like going back and forth, like um, doing stuff. But then the paranoia, like, got on me, like, dang, this is my best friend. Is he trying to? He just want my followers. That's what <laughs> it is. And that could have potentially hurt our friendship, and it did. Like, he was yeah. very upset and really upset with me and i was upset with myself and i still cringe from that mm-hmm, me um, too. but that was a learning lesson i was like i was young dumb mad but i'm now i'm older smart humble man and because of that i vowed to not let that happen again so with like the internet fame that we have uh if you want to call it that i mm-hmm. i look at myself as humble i i do my best to not have a big hit and not to judge people yeah. No matter what their following count is, yeah. or if they don't even have one. I mean, it's whatever. Yeah, yeah exactly. We try so hard to keep each other accountable um, but through each other, but also through our friends. Like, we always like tell our friends and our family, like, hey, if you ever see me changing, or like, please let us know if you think we're letting this get to us. It's really important to both me and Matt that we don't get it to It was the worst in the beginning. I mean, we, oh, yeah. we even did a video. About almost breaking up. Yeah. <laughs> and we only had a thousand subscribers, yo. I got a thousand subscribers. You can't tell me nothing, <laughs> man. I got a K next to my number now. What's <laughs> happening? Yeah, that that definitely messed with us mentally. It still actually messes with you mentally. No, yeah, it can. But I feel like we learned a lot of lessons early on. Yes. But I think something that we do really good is like, do mental like tune ups and check ups. Yeah. Of if something feels weird. Mm-hmm. At least I try to do that. And I try to study a lot. And it's not like I don't study creators and their content of like what they're doing because <laughs> I, I want it to feel like it's our own spin or our, our own touch of feeling to it. But I do pay attention to like results of things. So if, uh, if, if a creator makes a specific type of decision with like, let's just say like merch or uh, a brand deal or all of those things and um, the consequences that come with it. Like I look at it like the good consequences or the bad consequences of like, yo, that happened because this person didn't do this, this and this. If we ever stumble upon that, like we got to be mindful of what shows up on our channel, all of that. All of that stuff. Because we got to see these people in real life and stuff. And we don't know that they know who we are. And if we did something that angered them, like, that could have negative consequences. So it's like, we got to be extra careful of what we do and be mindful to ourselves. So it's kind of, 
I think that aspect is hard and it could drive a person crazy. It drives me crazy. <laughs> you laughing? I don't mean to laugh. No, I just, I was trying to follow what you were saying. I mean, I think I get what you're saying about the being mindful because um, it's not like we try to hide things, but you really, honestly, when this kind of industry, you do have to be mindful of what you say because everything you say can and will be used against you. So. You can't <laughs> <laughs> you, I didn't even say that. you just let me rant too. I, yeah but no i was really really trying to hear what you were saying i know but i think to add on to that actually i don't feel like i changed but um i think i would be lying if i said my thinking hasn't changed you know like um we're receiving money a different way like we don't have cons- like a regular nine to five job anymore like you know So our minds are changing for sure. And something that's negative that I think I'm carrying with me as we're growing is the paranoia that I have. Um, It's not extreme, but I do have paranoia that certain people might know me and they're not saying something. Like, for example, if we go to a bank or if we go to like a a, a doctor's appointment, like a gynecologist, like I've had... Okay, I get so paranoid now. I'm your gynecologist. <laughs> All right, just tell me what I got to look at. <laughs> I think I heard Dave Chappelle say that. Okay, just tell me what I need to look for. No, but literally there was a girl. Like, okay, we kind of like know our demographic now. I'm just being real. Like, when we're out in public, like, a lot of the people that watch us look like us, which is really awesome, you know? <clears throat> so sometimes I, I don't assume that just because you're Black or Asian, you know us. But when I'm at places, like, at my gyno appointment and there's a girl that's like my age that's asian like i i'm freaking out in the inside so i literally asked like she probably watches this right now man. i don't know okay, but it's all it, no it's not mean it's just i just don't want people who know me to like yeah do stuff you know i mean no 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 like, <laughs> you know, like be into it like you know wait, 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 <laughs> no 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 with that. Like, you know, like things that are personal, like my body or like my money. Like, I just don't want those. The money thing things. always makes me cringe, man. <laughs> I hate it. And yeah, you know what I'm things. you know what I'm getting now? Like, and I've ran it to you about this a lot, man. We talked off air about this all the time. It was like when we go and we have to like get tithe out because it's payday. So it's time to get tithe out and we got to go to the bank. Wait, which if you don't know what tithe is, that's just like. Money. Offering yeah. like money, we like to, giving yeah, to God. we like to give a percentage of our income to our church. Yeah, um, and we and Gloria, yeah, you actually taught me about that because oh, I used to just only give a dollar no matter what. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I to, I, that's what it was. It was like, put, oh, that's put, fine. Put, but you put, said no matter what. Yeah, put your dollar <laughs> in church. You know what I'm saying? But now I. <laughs> we give us a, a specific <laughs> percentage, no matter what. Um, where it was like, oh yeah, so going to like the bank, it's time to <clears throat> withdraw that. Yeah, cash. it's time to withdraw money, and then I just look at the expressions on that face when they like go into our account, and then they, especially like, like not to be stereotypic. I mean, everyone like is stereo- stereotypes in their mind. So when you see a person like me or Matt. I mean, like, looking like we're, like, 15 years old. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, we, we We're dressed young, like bums all the time. Young, black, and fine. <laughs> like, what is this young, black, and fine brother do? I, I look at their face, and then it's all it's always the similar reaction. They, they, like, step back, and they ask me, oh, so what do you do? I'm yeah. Like, what do you, what do you mean what I do? If you don't give me my money, like. <laughs> I if, think they're trained to, like, talk, small talk and stuff. I don't know. I don't want a small talk. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to talk about my money. I told somebody I I did wedding videos one time. Because you were just over it? Yeah. I, I didn't even want them like. Yeah, actually, like, I don't know if this is a secret, but me and Matt don't tell people. Like, when we're in public and we've never met someone, we don't just go out and say, well, actually, we never say we're YouTubers. Like, I don't yeah. even think that word has come out of our mouth ever. No, we um, don't. So we just say like, oh, we we make videos, so like we don't lie. But if they're interested in knowing more, then we'll tell them. But we don't straight up say we make videos on YouTube and we're, you know what I mean? Like yeah. we just don't like to talk about it because again, I think the paranoia is that if someone finds out, then they might have ulterior motives. That's not everyone, but that's just my paranoia, and I think that's yours too. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, <laughs> definitely. 
something that I want to also talk about is how we, with all of this internet quote unquote fame that we got, how we had to introduce that to like our family and friends. Mm, that's a good one. And one of the things that I did, and one of the things I need to stop doing is saying like, <laughs> I caught myself saying like a couple times, and I know I'm going to cringe when I look back at this. One of the things that we had to do was, well, that I did was talk to my best friends and like, dang it, and the people closest to my life. Mm-hmm. And I said, hey, if you ever see me change as a person for the worse Mm -hmm. let me know um because the biggest thing is letting fame get to my head and i become this judging overbearing person Mm -hmm. and i just don't want that because i wasn't raised that way with my family and i do have a heart for people no matter what right uh poor rich in the middle um i have a heart for everybody and i i don't want to just turn into this negative person um I think it's good that you're saying that actually because no matter how good of a person you are if you're put into a position that you've never been in before such as growing um like a following like you can't assume that you're you're still going to be like the same person like you yeah. I think it's a, actually a very humbling for you to ask your friends and for me to ask our friends like to keep us in check because like we can't always be the ones to hold ourselves accountable the people that know us best have to Well sometimes. that happened with the with my 50,000 followers, <laughs> yeah. I let it get to my head and come to find out, I felt like out of that 50,000, a, a good portion of them were probably bots and I didn't even know. So I didn't even have that many. But it still went to my head and I didn't like the type of person that I became. Yeah. And, um, but with this lifestyle, we think when we thought about like, oh, I can't wait till we have a million you think, hey, it's going to be a lot of people that like you. Mm-hmm. Obviously, finances will be there, but you're not really focusing on the finances too heavy. I think for us, it was more of a, the impact that we had on like the number of people. Mm-hmm. And then the finances just come. Um, and you're thinking of all of those things, but you don't really think about the negative things that come with this. Yeah. And it's not... For your mental space, your mental health space... You got to have a really close... You got to be so strong. You got to be really strong. <laughs> there's, there's been times that it's broken us down a lot. Yeah. And it's not comments or anything. It's just pressure. Pressure. Of being successful. Yeah. Yeah. Some comments could, but that's... I feel like that's when it's attacking your integrity and who you are as a person. Yeah. I, I think... Um, <laughs> I think there are some things that we didn't like people that don't um, people that want to be like famous or want a big following. Like you never think about the negative stuff that comes with it. Mm-hmm. We like really love what we do, but there's definitely certain things that like, there are a lot of people online that like are open about their mental health and like their depression and stuff. And like, I feel like people might think, oh, every person on those YouTube has this, but I feel like you gotta be really strong if you wanna be in this industry because there's you have to be able to take hate comments, like people knowing you in public when you don't even know them, like you don't even know who knows you. Trust is on a whole nother level. Yeah. Especially for me. It's kind of hard to find, uh, at least from my experience, um, trustworthy people that have your best interest yeah. at heart. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they're new in your life yeah. and you haven't already known them because yeah, you don't know exactly. what their intentions are. Yeah, so so it's like in the back of your mind you might be like, man, this person gonna stab me in the back. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. That's why I, like living in Maryland is... Keeps us grounded. Yeah, keep us grounded and we don't have any plans on moving anywhere else unless if god were to call us but as of right now like we're very happy where we are because our family and our friends are here and i think it's good actually to be surrounded by like-minded people so it motivates you but at the same time i think it's also really good to remain jenny from the block you know what (laughs) don't be fooled by the rocks that i got i'm still i'm still glory do you know how much i paid for that ring out the thrift store (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but seriously, that song is like 
That's a good reminder. I don't even have a block (laughs) that I rep. I was homeschooled. (laughs) I was repping them keyboards and stuff. No, but I I know what you're saying. It there's just a lot of um, there's just a lot that comes with it, and I try to avoid two f words. One is famous. One is fan. We don't use the word fans. We don't believe in it. I feel like that just automatically puts someone below you. I don't like the word idol. Don't call me an idol. Yeah, don't please. call me an idol either. I'll correct you. <laughs> I'll correct you every time. Even if someone says it innocently. Yeah, don't idolize me. Yeah. Like, be your own person. You can like our stuff. Like, that's cool. Like, if you bang with our stuff, but don't idolize me as a person. Because yeah. I make mistakes. Mm-hmm. And if you put someone on the pedestal and then they make a mistake, that's when you, like lose it you know that's why you should never idolize anyone seriously what's the other f word famous um, i don't like that word what about the one that rhymes with duck or luck <laughs> <laughs> that one's okay in certain <laughs> oh my <laughs> okay. goodness wow glory yeah um, okay that's a all right well famous i mean you can't fame is like a status thing. Like you can't. Do you from. think you're fam- Do you consider yourself famous? Because people sometimes will completely throw that word. In Internet famous, sure. Really? Anytime you have over a million, you just in denial. I really don't be thinking about that. I don't think like we're internet famous. Well, you have. Well, what comes with that is that a lot of people know who you are. True. Oh, I have a nice follow up question. Okay. What is your, how do you feel being recognized in public? Because I would say the two questions that we get when it, when, now that we're growing, honestly, is how do you make your money? <laughs> and the other question is, do you get noticed in public? I, I feel like we get that question a lot. I like it. I really like it. But I got to be real, though. There's mm-hmm. been times where I've been walking around really mad or upset with the world. <laughs> and then... I walk into a store and somebody says, "Hey, are you Slice?" <laughs> and I gotta change my, I gotta change my tone instantly. Like, yes, yes, I am. Yo, what's up? And <laughs> I have to, you know, because I don't want to ruin that person's experience because they caught me at a wrong time. Mm. I, like that scares me a lot. Yeah. Um, because I really am that person, but I do be going through it, so I don't want to be like, "Yeah, what's up?" Would you want to take a picture? I don't want to do. <laughs> I don't want to do that, man. I yeah, really I mean, we all have those dog days, but honestly, I feel like me and you... It's fun. I enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy it too, but we normally get recognized when we're together. I would say uh, when we're not together, I, I could go to the mall. I could go to this, the store and never get recognized. Honestly, I could. I just blend in with all the Asian people. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you get recognized more I than do, I do. I do. It's because of my hair my gap, man. <laughs> Once I open my mouth, like, can I get a Whopper with cheese? Yo, you slice! <laughs> The gap is there. The gap is there. But yeah, we, me and I enjoy it. We, I actually love it. The only thing. The only thing. Yes. And I think we're on the same page (laughs) is I. There goes your timer. 25 minutes. Say it really fast. The only thing that I cringe about is if it's a big party gathering with our close friends Mm -hmm. and we're going to stop every three to five minutes which has happened before and so i'm solving this issue now with a baseball cap and i'm good you just let the world know <laughs> what, what you doing sunglasses hannah montana not nah, i mean if you see it like you see us hanging with our homies we don't mind you like no, hey we know you no, not but at all. the, the converse is no, not even a picture no, no, if no. you want to take a quick picture that's yeah, yeah but i guess it's, it's just convers- the- it's conversation <laughs> Don't get this wrong. If it's just me and Matt, I literally think we could talk to someone all day like, and not even care. It's just when we're with our friends, I, we feel bad because our obligation is to them. I mean, like, that's who we chose to spend our time with that Because we got to share. We got to share ourselves with you share and them. Ourselves. So it gets it gets difficult. Yeah. But we still love it. And I don't we don't deny. It's just like, I guess just I. If, you know, yeah. That's just something. And also, if you see us. Like, don't be, like, caressing your phone because you want to take a picture <laughs> and then say, all right, bye, but you want to... Just ask it for a picture. I like taking pictures. But when you take a picture, please tag us on Instagram so we can follow you back. 
All the time. Well, I'm about, ain't nobody stopping us. Ain't nobody. Know. Nobody. Ain't no one cares about us. But all right, yeah, our time is running low because we're also recording this on a. I'll just end corner. with. I enjoy it. Uh, life has me as a person hasn't changed, but the resources have, um, <laughs> in a good way. And don't believe the network that's online about us. It's completely it's, it's off. False. Mom, I don't have sixty million dollars. <laughs> I don't know these people that even find this net worth stuff because it's all wrong. And with that, we are going to close our first episode of One, One for, for the, the Brooks. Bro- I, I didn't even. One for the Brooks. All right. I had to do it. I got the slice. I got the rice. Ha, ha, ha.